Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we are doing another DIY picture frame for Christmas. Now you remember this one that I got at Goodwill and it was $8.99 but it was 30% off so I went ahead and got it and my idea was to take this printout. Now just to let you know I'm going to be painting over this. This is not a real uh, painting. Because I've looked, there are no brush marks whatsoever on this. This is just a print on a canvas. So, I'm just going to be painting over it. This is what my idea is. Now, I have these letters here that will spell joy. And I got these at Walmart. And they're just going to go down the thing here. I'm going to be painting these red. I'm going to be painting this part um, a white color. And the frame is going to be red and green together. So... Let's go ahead and get started painting the white part. Now I'm going to go ahead and start painting this white. Now these are the two colors. I've actually mixed these because I didn't want a pure white. This is a pure white and this one is antique white. So I just mixed the two together in one of my little leftover paper plates that I have. And I'm just going to be brushing this on. I don't care if I touch the frame part right now. I'm going to be going in with a uh, much smaller brush and painting that. Now this might take a couple coats because of the color. I want to put it on too thick on the first coat. And you might have noticed that I am in my jammies. Yes, I am. I'm actually doing this project Saturday afternoon. I went ahead and got into my jammies because I've been bringing up all my Christmas bins today. And I am going to be doing some decorating later today. i got to get started on that mantle that I'm going to be doing the collaboration with Liz on Friday. And I'm actually... I've come up with a different idea. I've decided not to do the Tuscan because, uh, and it's falling off the table here. <laughs> I'm going to be doing Tuscan in the study. Now, a lot of you will know that my uh, fireplace in the family room, it's a two-sided fireplace. The other side is the study. And I normally do Tuscan in there anyway because of all the dark wood. So I'm just going to do my Tuscan fireplace mantle in there this year. And I'm just going to do a more traditional uh, mantle here in the family room. It's going to be red, green, and gold mainly. And I did get that mirror done earlier today that I showed you that I got a Goodwill. That's uh, hanging above my fireplace now. So I'll be showing that off. I did it more of uh, gold and a little bit of brown to it in, met in metallic. So let's go ahead and hurry up and get this done here. I know this is not the most exciting thing to watch. <laughs> I'm trying to think of something to, oh, one thing I can tell you while we're doing this really quick is my neighbor across the street, I might have mentioned it before on one of my snow videos, that she does a very elaborate Christmas. She has her whole house framed in white lights. She has a two-story house over there. And, uh, I mean, she has somebody, a company come and hang all this stuff. But she has a major Christmas party over there. And we've been, you know, we get invited over there. And uh, it's really fun to go there. She has got a lot of Christmas decor. She'll have carolers there. She has a... A horse and cart ride is, is really, really, really nice. And the funny thing, I'm going to tell you, uh, when we first moved here, we moved here in October, four years ago, the beginning of October. So our first Christmas, you know, we didn't have too much going on. And we did one of our trees right up by the front porch. And I was just so proud that we got that tree done because, you know, I still had unpacking to do. And then I saw her stuff and I was like, oh, I said that. This looks horrible. <laughs> I mean, I can never be able to afford to have all that done, but uh, I will definitely get a little video of it when it's all done at night and you get to see what it looks like. 
All right, so now I got my first coat on. I'm gonna let this dry. I'm gonna do a second coat, and then we're gonna come back and I'll show you my idea of how I'm gonna do the red and the green on the frame. Well, I got my second coat of the white done, and I went ahead and did some red and green on here too, because this is a little time consuming, and I figured you didn't want, want to watch me paint the whole thing. But I thought I would go ahead and show a little bit because I'm going to do green on the inside here. This might be a little difficult to do on the camera. Uh, I normally like to do this in my lap. <laughs> it's much easier. Yeah, see, I'm not even sure which direction. Oh, I forgot to... Uh, the red that I'm using is a cardinal red from Folk Art that I got at uh, Walmart. And this is just some uh, Delta Crema Coat that I've had. This is the stuff that I normally use, and I always got this from Hobby Lobby. And this one is called Green Isle. For the green, it's, it's a really nice Christmas green. Basically, I thought it looked kind of nice to have two sections of green and one of red on the frame here. So this is not the easiest thing to paint on camera. <laughs> like I said, I normally hold this stuff down in my lap as I'm painting, or I can see a little better. I'm just going to paint a little bit here, hopefully without touching the red part, because this will take some time. You got to go very carefully. Now the red I was really messy. I could be messy with, but once you do the green. You gotta be a little bit more careful because I don't uh, tape off things. I just uh, get as close to it as I can with my brush and go really slow. All right, so let's uh, kind of hold this up here until we can get it to look here. Not very good with the camera here. Hold on. The camera a little bit, maybe. So basically, I have my green on the outside edge, and my red here, and we're going to do green on the inside. So now, I'm going to go ahead and paint the rest of this. Oh, and then I, I did paint my, my letters the same red. Like I said, they're going to go in like this. Okay, so let me paint this, and then we're going to come back and see what it looks like, and then we're going to attach the letters. And... Uh, We'll see how it looks after that. I might put a little bit of embellishment on it. I'm not sure. So let me finish this painting and we'll come back and put the letters on. Well, I got it all painted now. I don't know if you can see on here very well, but I splattered it with some green. I just didn't really like it all, that stark white color that was on there. I just uh, think it looked better with the red letters here that I'm going to put on. Now I'm just going to hot glue these on since I already have this on here. You could always use more permanent glue. Let's see if my gun's ready here. Put a lot on here. And you know, another idea, instead of painting, if you use a picture frame like this, is you can put some wrapping paper on here instead. And, you know, that's an idea. I was thinking also doing that with some plaid wrapping paper and then painting my joy in white instead. So I'm just going to place that one there. I'll kind of see how this is going to go here real quick with the Y first. I'm going to move sticks. <laughs> Yeah, so just, like I said, if you want to use more permanent glue, because I even have just the regular Gorilla Glue. I like that a lot. And there goes my glue stick. There we go. I shouldn't burn myself doing these, at least. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, about right there. 
put the O, I think, right there. Hopefully it works out right here for me. All right, here we go. Let's turn this just a little bit. Hold on. Make sure I get straight. Okay. I know this could be hard to see. It's so big. Oops. Popped up on me. Let's put a little bit more glue on this one. I might end up uh, actually putting some of the other Gorilla Glue on here. There we go. Now, it hangs with the wire. So, I'm thinking about putting some kind of embellishments on here. You know, another thing you could do is put some little snowflakes on here. Just hot glue, any even some ornament snowflakes or little wood cutout ones that you can paint white or some plastic ones. You could even uh, like I splattered this with the green. You could splatter these with the white because the green would not show up. Let me go see if I can find something. I just brought all my Christmas bins up today, and I'm gonna go look in one of the greenery bins and see if I can find something to add to this. Well, I decided to do this. Now, I don't want to go too overboard on here. I'm just going to add this at the top. Now, this is actually a greenery pick that I've cut off here, and it had a little extension of some berries that I didn't want to cut it off here. And these are just three ornaments that I wired together, and I've attached them around the greenery pick. So, I am just going to glue it up in this section. I decided I don't want to put anything down here. I think it's enough just to have something up here. Let's kind of turn this around. Make sure everything flat enough here. Figure out where I want it exactly. Make that work. Very sticking in there. All right. Hopefully, like I said, I can get this all flat enough when I go to uh, glue it. At least glue it up towards the Jane and the Joy. Should be enough. A lot of glue on here. All right. I'm about to burn myself again. Eek. Oops, yeah. pushed a little too hard. <laughs> a little uneven there. It's got that canvas sticking on the back that sticks out. Now, I'll show you this way. Okay. And the balls move around. I kind of like that. You can move them around a little bit. Now you're probably going, Jody. what about that ugliness right there? Well, here's what you do. You cover it up. Now, I have a few of these picks, so I took three pieces. Of course, I dropped one. Ugh. Wouldn't be a day without me dropping anything. And I am going to be gluing these to cover up the brown stem area. One time I did burn my finger. You can put anything that you want to on yours. Okay. Now, you can see that is all covered up. I like that a lot. You know, another thing I was thinking about was putting some hot glue in some of these spots and sprinkling, uh, sprinkling 
some of the fake snow on there. That would be kind of nice too to have a little bit of snow. I think I'm going to keep it like this. So and I know you can't see it. So I'm going to clear off the table here and make the camera go up higher. And I'll hold it for you. You can see how it turned out. Well, this is how it turned out. You know what? I think I need to hang this up and take some pictures so you can see it better because I know you can't see all the splattering possibly from this far away. If I get too close to the camera, you just can't see everything. So let me uh, take a few pictures. We'll have a little quick video on it and then we'll come back for some chit chat. Well, I hope that everyone enjoyed my little DIY Christmas sign that I made. And you know, there's so many possibilities that you could do with this. I even thought about putting some jingle bells on there too. I might change it up, who knows. But I gotta find a place for it now. I think I'm gonna put it in my uh, formal living room because I do these colors in there. And uh, I had actually bought these letters last year and a different picture frame that uh, I was going to use it with. So now I'm going to take that picture frame and do something different with it. That will be on another video. Uh, probably be next week. I don't think I'll get another one this week. I got to uh, definitely get working on that uh, mantle that I'm doing. So this little teaser is a cute pick. I've had these a couple years. I think you can still get them at Hobby Lobby. I love these. This is going to be going on my next DIY picture frame Christmas decor with something else with it too. So just a little teaser there. <laughs> so I want to wish everybody a very wonderful day and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.